There are things we can do that actually help boost our immunity and can help us fight a virus like what we're seeing today. In these times of so often feeling out of control, Dr. Taz Bhatia, known as Dr. Taz, says we can take some of that control back when it comes to our health. It's almost like a two punch immune issue. So you have the first 48 hours to really get your immune system to fight this thing off. But for the patients that have decreased immunity, they go on into something that's called cytokine explosion, where the immune system just goes haywire and the virus takes over the body. Dr. Taz practices integrative medicine. She says eating well is the first line of defense. So some of those foods include high vitamin C foods because they decrease your viral loads. So these are your citrus fruits. They're going to be beets, for example, have a lot of vitamin C in them. Things like pineapple, apples. I think the second category is antioxidants, getting all those high antioxidant foods in. We know that that helps to improve the overall oxygenation in the body and can help to decrease viral loads and really support your immunity. And then removing the foods that wear the immune system down, I think is equally critical. So this is where we talk about high sugar foods or processed foods or foods with a lot of different additives in them. There are also some supplements that can help as well. Yes, to probiotics. You want a probiotic that has four or five different strains in it and ideally at least 50 billion units. So we know the gut is critical in this fight that we're all facing right now. So that's a good one. And then when it comes to vitamins, there's so much research right now going on on COVID-19 and which ones work and which ones don't. Here's where we're landing today. And remember the information keeps changing. Vitamin C is an absolute, everybody agrees they're taking about two grams a day. Vitamin D is one that seems to help too, especially for prevention, maybe not so much for treatment. So vitamin D, you want to be around 2,000 units a day. That's another important one. I think zinc is playing a bigger role than we imagined. In fact, there's some early reports coming out of China that many of the patients that have fatalities were actually very low in zinc. In addition to food and vitamins, Dr. Taz says it's important to get enough sleep and reduce stress. One of the best ways, exercise, even if you have to do it inside your home.